Hi, everyone. My name is Kristen Petroff. I am a research assistant with the One Million Turtles Community Conservation Program. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to access um, the resources for the Turtles in Schools program. So I'm currently on the One Million Turtles website. This is the main page. From here, you're going to go over to the right hand side where it says more. Um, click on box and there's an icon there for teacher resources. If you select that, it'll then op open up the website for the Turtles in Schools program. And on this page is where you'll find all of your lesson plans, your student handouts, and there'll be teacher slides as well. So when you're presenting a particular lesson to the class, you can put up the slides. It'll have bits of important background information as well as a breakdown of the activities that, um, students will do for that particular lesson. So if we scroll down from here, um, we come into these infographics and the infographics, once they load, um, are broken down into terms and they basically give you an overview about what each lesson will be about for that particular term. So for term one, the first lesson is about wetland habitats. So students will learn about wetland habitats and the function of the riparian zone. From here, a second lesson will be abiotic and biotic factors um, and so on. So you can work your way through the lessons for each term and they progressively grow upon one another. So something that they might learn in lesson one might be slightly revisited in lesson seven, but it might be, there might be a little bit more context or a bit more information that comes with it. So if you decide to go through with the um, Turtles in Schools program, if you scroll down further, there's actually all the downloads that you need for the lesson plans themselves. So you might decide that lesson two about abiotic and biotic factors, that's something that you'd like to teach your class. If you click on the download, it will then open us up to the actual lesson plan. Um, and this is the teacher's resource. So it gives you an overview, um, table of contents of what each section is about. Um, you've got your learning objectives for the class. So in this particular one, they're going to define and identify abiotic and biotic factors within the wetland environment. Put background information, just a definition for both abiotic and biotic factors. And then there's a breakdown of what the classroom activities are. So for this one, I believe that there's two activities. So the first activity is just explaining the difference between abiotic and biotic factors. In the lesson slides, which I'll show you, there's um, different images that you can show your class as well. And that can be like an open discussion then with your students um, about identifying different abiotic and biotic factors in the wetland environment. The second activity is then providing the students with a worksheet um, that comes with this particular lesson plan, and that's instructing them to also identify abiotic and biotic factors within that. So if I go back to the teacher's resources, within the downloads themselves, if I go term one, lesson two, abiotic and biotic worksheet, if I open that one up, that then gives us the activities for that particular worksheet for activity two that I just spoke about. So they're going to identify abiotic and biotic factors in this wetland diagram below, and then they're going to write a paragraph about the wetland above um, and actually specify abiotic and biotic factors in their sentences. Then when it comes to doing the actual lesson itself, now these aren't quite up onto the website just yet. So I'll just need to bring them up for you to be able to see. We go term one, and it's lesson two. So this is then the slides that you will be given as well. So you can put these up in front of the class. Um, it's got your learning objectives there, then breaks down again, the different definitions of abiotic and biotic factors. Um, this is the example that I was showing you about um, having the students in an open discussion identify abiotic and biotic factors within these um, diagrams and then talking about the worksheet. So you can kind of work through the slides um, to be able to present what you're going to be teaching the class that particular day, but all the information that you need um, is there. By all means, you're welcome to um, add your own resources as well. Let's just go back to the teacher's resources page. So that was an example from term one. If you then scroll further down, you've then got infographics for term two. Um, and that does a breakdown of what the students will cover in their lessons for term two. And it's the same thing. So if you scroll further down from there, you're going to have the different downloads 
that the students um, and that you can utilize. So different lesson plans, there's worksheets, there's reflection pieces if they've watched a video or they've gone out to the wetland. And it's the same thing for term three and term four. So again, term three looks at macro invertebrates and water quality testing. So term three is a little bit more hands-on um, at the actual wetland as opposed to the other two terms. Um, and then you get to term four, which I guess encompasses everything that they've learnt in terms one, two, and three. And it's more about how all those concepts combine together to make um, more of a social change and how students can then become more, you know, activists for their local wetland um, and instigate that change as well. So that's about it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to the One Million Turtles their email address and they'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. By all means, we definitely appreciate any feedback as well. So I hope you enjoy the lessons. Thank you.